to play hide and seek. Here's how the game goes. Do rock, paper, scissors to choose the seeker. With eyes closed, the seeker counts to 30. The other friends must hide during this time. The seeker can start looking for everyone after counting to 30. Well, doesn't it sound fun? Then let's start. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Gomo's the seeker! Ready, set, hide! Uba! Uba! We can see you! Ready or not, here Gomo comes! <laughs> Where are they hiding? Just one friend left. Where could Gomi be hiding? Not here. Where on earth is she hiding? <gasps> Gummy! There you are! You look like a stuffed doll! <laughs> You can come out now. 
Hmm? Why isn't she coming out? <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Gomi fell asleep. Sweet dreams, Gomi. What game should we play next time? It's playtime, Gomo. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we're going to play four event relay. Here's how the game goes. First, you must each pick an event and set the order. There are four events. Remove sticky notes off your body with no hands. Jump over a hula hoop. Eat watermelon, then whistle. And fly a paper plane past the line. The first friend up must clear his event so the second friend can start hers. If anyone slips up, you have to start from the top again, so focus. The goal is for everyone to clear their event in order. Well, doesn't it sound fun? First try! Gomo's up. Ready? Go! Go! Go, Gomo, go! Now it's Gomi's turn. <laughs> oh dear, back to the beginning. Second try. Ready, go! Gomi clears too. Uba, it's your turn now. Uh, Uba. Uh, uh. Huh? You can't eat the watermelon before your turn. <laughs> Uba. Sorry, guys, but it's back to the start. Okay, third time's the charm. Are you ready, Gomo? <laughs> What? You want to go first, Toto? <laughs> oh no! But we were only getting started! Oh dear! Hang in there! Don't give up, guys! That's the spirit. Where there's a will, there's a way. Should we play next time? 
It's playtime, Gomo. Hi, guys. Today we're going to play paper cup bowling. Here's how the game goes. First, you have to tape two paper cups together to make a bowling pin. Once you make ten pins and set them up in a triangle shape, you're all done. Now you just have to roll a ball to knock down the pins. The one who knocks down more pins wins. Oh, don't overstep the line when rolling, or you're out. Okay, let's play in teams of two. Team Gomo and Gomi. And Team Toto and Uba. Ready? Paper cup bowling starts now. First one up is Gomo. So close. He knocked out all but one pin. <laughs> Next up is Gummy. Wow, she got the last pin. Now it's Team Uba and Dodo's turn. Oh dear, two pins are still standing. Round one is a tie. Will round two decide the winner? This time, Toto rolls first. <laughs> Wormy sneezed threw Toto off his game. Uba, it's your turn to bowl. Yikes! The ball is coming back! Hurry, go! Are you okay, Toto? Team Toto and Uba has one pin standing. Now it's Team Gomo and Gomi's turn. Good luck, Gomi. Oops, she slipped on a cookie that Uba dropped. Oh no, the ball missed all the pins. Last one up is Gomo. There are still two left standing. Hmm? Wait. Wow, all the pins got knocked down. The winner of Paper Cup Bowling is Team Gomo and Gummy. Congratulations. <laughs> what game should we play next time? Hmm? Where is everyone? It's playtime, Como. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we're going to play Act It Out. Here's how the game goes. One friend gives the word to act out. Another does the acting. And a third guesses the word. 
The friend who does the acting can only use their body to explain. The guesser must watch the actor's gestures carefully to guess the word. But remember, the actor cannot talk, okay? Why don't you act out the word first, Como? <laughs> now, let's see what the word is. Smartphone? How do you act out a smartphone? Dodo, do you know the answer? Sorry, it's not a mic. <laughs> Headphones? No, sorry. <laughs> Look, you all make this pose very often. Smartphone? Correct! <laughs> Gomi got the right answer! Congrats! It's rectangular. You use your fingers. You put it to your ear and talk. And you can take pictures. The word was smartphone. The next one to act it out is Gomi. This time, why don't we all try to guess the word? Uh, what? Gomi, show us again. She seems scared. Does it hurt her arm? Oh, a bee stung her? Huh? It's not bee? What could it be? Uh, uh, <laughs> Uba, do you know the answer? Uh, uh, <laughs> the word is needle. When you're sick and you get a shot even though you're scared, you can feel better. Awesome, Gomi! Now it's Dodo's turn. <laughs> Oh, this one might be difficult. Gorilla? What? Sorry, it's not alien. Watch, guys. Doesn't that look familiar? <laughs> Uba, don't you know the answer? <laughs> Uba. Say that again. Uba? Huh? Uba? Huh? Uba? Bingo! The answer is Uba! Uba! Tummy thump, ta da! Two handed munch crunch eating. And running with arms in the air. <laughs> exactly like Uba, right? 
You have a real talent for acting, Toto. Very impressive. <laughs> what should we play next time? It's playtime, Gomo! Hi, guys! Today we're going to play Red Light, Green Light. Here's how the game goes. Do rock, paper, scissors to see who's it. While it says, Green Light, with his back turned, the others move toward him until he spins around calling Red Light. Then you must freeze. If it sees you move, you're caught. But even if you're caught, don't worry. Because once another friend touches it, everyone can run away. If it grabs someone before the line, then that friend is the new it. Well, doesn't it sound fun? Rock, paper, scissors! Rock, paper, scissors! Green, white, red, <laughs> Gomi got caught. Green, white, red light. Green light, red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light.
Come here. <laughs> what game should we play next time? going to play the bean chopstick challenge. Here's how the game goes. Using chopsticks, you must move the beans from one dish to the other. You have to be steady and precise, but you also have to be quick. The one who moves more beans within the time limit wins. But keep in mind, beans that have fallen off don't count. Well, doesn't it sound fun? Then, let's start! <laughs> The first round's between Como and Toto. Now, get ready, set, go! Whoops! Como dropped his chopsticks! Oh no, what a mess! Time's up! The first round goes to Gomo! The second round's between Gomi and Uba. Ready? Set, go! Wow, going super fast! Legendary Double Chopstick Technique! goes to two-handed Uba. Way to go! You moved all your beans! Now for the final round. Gomo, Uba, good luck to you both. Ready, set, go! Wow, Uba, I can't see your hands. Uh, Uba, what are you doing? Time's up. Ooh, you kept at it without giving up. Well done, Gomo. And Uba, oh dear, you ate all your beans instead of moving them. So today's winner is Gomo. Too bad, Uba, but you were a worthy opponent. <laughs> what game should we play next time? <laughs> <laughs> it's playtime, Gomo! Today we're going to have a treasure hunt! Here's how the game goes. There are treasure tickets hidden around the house. You have to search carefully and find the treasure tickets. Once you find the ticket, you can exchange it for a gift that's the same color. <laughs> 
Well, doesn't it sound fun? Then, let's start the treasure hunt! Ticket. Gomi found a blue treasure ticket. one treasure box left, and it's big and gold. All right, want to go find the gold treasure ticket? scrap of paper. There's a picture in the middle. What could this be? What? Another one? Maybe there are clues that will lead us to the gold treasure ticket. A pizza, chocolate strawberry cake, watermelon, and... Oh, a donut! But what do they have to do with the gold treasure ticket? Huh? Have you figured it out, Gomo? Aha! The clues were all food, and food is kept in the refrigerator. Finally, the gold treasure ticket! Last treasure is yummy snacks. Enjoy the treats. What should we play next time? It's 
It's playtime, Gomo. Hmm? I don't see our friends. Where is everyone? <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness! You scared me! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today we're going to play Dachi. Before I tell you how to play the game, let's learn how to make the Dachi. Take two long pieces of paper and make a cross. Then fold the ends into triangles. Cut off the extra bits with scissors. Finally, tuck in the triangles in order. And ta-da! You get a cool dachi! The game is very simple. Just aim for your friend's dachi on the ground and slam yours down. If it flips over, you win! Every dachi you flip, you keep. Well, doesn't it sound fun? <laughs> Team Gomo has finished folding. <laughs> Team Toto is ready too. <laughs> Team Toto slams first. Oh dear, Uba missed. Now it's Team Gomo's turn. You can do it, Gomi. She flipped Uba's duckji. Well done, Gomi. Team Gomo won all the duck cheese. The first round goes to Team Gomo. Wow. Toto must be making some special duck cheese. Now it's time for round two. Mm. <laughs> 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 hmm? These duckies look a bit different. Whoa! It's like it's glued to the ground. It won't budge. A thin duckji great for blocking attacks, and a thick duckji great for attacking. Wow! Toto made an unbeatable combo. Ooh! It looks like Toto and Uba will win round two for sure. Win to flip the thin duck cheek on me? Impressive! You are worthy opponents. <laughs> what shall we play next time? Oh! <laughs> 
It's playtime, Gomo. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we're going to play Pop the Balloon. Here's how the game goes. First, you each have to tie a balloon around your ankle. Then on cue, you have to pop another's balloon by stepping on it. The one who pops the other's balloon first wins. But be careful not to step on your friend's foot. Well, doesn't it sound fun? <laughs> okay, get ready. Pop the balloon starts now. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy footwork, Toto. <laughs> Why are you opening the fridge? <laughs> Uba! <laughs> Aha! You're distracting Uba with food. <laughs> Uba's out. Oh, Uba, you can't eat while playing the game. <laughs> Wow, nice sidestepping, Gomi. Impressive. <laughs> oh dear, she popped her own balloon. Gomi's out. <laughs> Only two players left. Who will be the winner? Uba, are you still eating? Whoa, be careful! Toto, behind you! Poor Toto. Are you all right? Huh? Gomo popped Toto's balloon. The winner of Pop the Balloon is Gomo. Congratulations. What game should we play next time? It's playtime, Gomo. Hi, guys. Today we're going to play Clash of the Cleaners. Here's how the game goes. The first match is Bucket Dump. You must dump the scattered toys around the room into the bucket, and the one who dumps the most wins. The second match is Bookshelf Building Blocks. The one who arranges the books the nicest wins. The third match is Desk Duplicate. You must make the messy desk look exactly like the picture. Well, doesn't it sound fun? The first match is Bucket Dump. Ready, go! <laughs> 
Time's up. Wow, it's easy to see that Dotto has way more toys. Hmm? Wait a minute. They're not all toys. Dotto, I know you were in a rush, but you can't just grab anything. The winner's the one who dumped only toys, and that's Gomo! <laughs> The second match is bookshelf building blocks. Wubo arranges the top shelf and Gomi the bottom shelf. Ready, go! All done! Whoa! Gomi arranged all the books by height. The winner is Gomi! Because she went the extra mile. But you did great too, huh? The final match is desk duplicate. Make the desk look like the picture. <laughs> Gomo put all the crayons in the holder. It's the same as the picture. <laughs> Gomi put all the cookies on the plate. Good job! <laughs> Dodo tidied up the books. Oh dear, the books aren't in the right order. Ding, ding, ding! Correct! Uba stacked the papers. Correct! It's the same as the picture. Wow! Playing Clash of the Cleaners has made the room neat and tidy. We played a fun game, and the room got clean too. This was great! <laughs> What should we play next time?